I am gross because I had spores the last two periods. I have not made my bed. I don't really know where this video is going to go. Um, and I don't think my battery on my camera is going to last. So yeah, this is great. <laughs> great start. <laughs> and today is going to be the long awaited tackle because I was supposed to I actually was supposed to film this and upload it last week but then I hit 8,000 subscribers which was so exciting but I deleted the actual video so I had to film it all over again and I'm not sure if I've got everything because it's kind of a collective tackle but I think I've forgotten a lot of stuff because this was not as like this is so much less stuff than I had last time but you know we're just going to deal with it I'm just gonna start with the stuff that I got first. Okay, so we had this like little tax sale thing from some tax store that traveled from like Perth or something and it came here and they had like everything really, really cheap. So I'm gonna show you the stuff I got from there. <laughs> so the first two things I got were fly veils. This is one here, it's um, a black one with the blue piping. That one's outside and it's raining so I'm not gonna go out and get it. <laughs> and um, then I also got this one. I got them both for $10 each down from $24 and I'm not too sure on the brand. It's, I don't have the tags because I took them off as soon as I filmed this video last time but I accidentally deleted it so but this is the little brand logo thing. I don't really know what the brand is though, so yeah. Then the other thing I got I'm super, super excited about, I have a coat hanger on it, I'll just take it off, but it is a um, Num Num, and the reason I'm so excited about this is because this Num Num on the tag, it was worth $160 or $180, okay? And I didn't even know how much it was usually worth, but I... I got it for $20, 180 or $160 normally, like how amazing is this? I was so annoyed, they had so many I should have gotten more, but it's just a black one. Um, the brand, the brand is High Wither and I just got it in a medium, which I'm not sure if that will fit, generally they're supposed to be large for the horses, but you know, we don't know, oh my god, my back on my camera is gonna run out so yeah I got that <laughs> I'm gonna try and get through this really fast <laughs> the next thing I got I was given from my auntie they used to be hers but it's just some opal leather oil in the spray I've got some already but just a bit extra and also some Australian leather dressing so like soap saddle soap's not gonna focus I don't care but yeah, so I just was given them. And she also was nice enough to give me this gorgeous Superman tin, which I'm gonna put tin um, treats in it, because if you don't know, Super, um, Super's color is like Superman kind of theme, obviously, because his name. So I'm trying to get heaps of Superman stuff. I'm working towards that. I still need Superman polos and um, saddle pattern bits, pieces like that. But yeah, so she was nice enough to give me that for free. And uh, I also got a Superman hat, which I picked up for like, for like $5 with like a little Father's Day kit. And it came with, with a little Superman key ring and also like a little drink holder thing. Okay, so the next thing I got is from a, I went to Goulburn, it's like, an hour away from me. I've never been to Goulburn before. It's just like another little town kind of thing. But it's where the big ram is. M big Merino. Here's a photo. <laughs> um, so we stopped in at one of the tax stores, which was really... Like, I love this tax store. It was amazing. What I got from there is I got some Show Silk Glow Chestnut Shampoo, which is obviously for Super because I ran out of my shampoo, and that was $15. I also got a new pair of jodhpurs, um, they are the Valley jodhpurs, almost like a second skin, <laughs> that's what it says on the tag, but they're pretty ordinary, nothing special, you know, oh, it's got a zipper, you do it up there, they're quite nice, um, I got these jodhpurs for $40, which is an amazing price, so I just thought I'd pick up them, I don't have a black pair of jodhpurs, I only have the beige, so, the next thing I got from there are these gloves, um, they're the HZ, I don't really know anything else about them, they are just as they're winter gloves, but they're in like a kind of navy, 
navy blue color and like with the black on the insides and they are really nice and fleecy so they're really good for winter and it's just you know velcro to undo there and they are really comfy and I'm so excited to use these and because I've lost my other gloves I've got a lot of pair of gloves but no like warm ones and I lost my favorite pair so these were $16 the last thing I got from that tax store, I don't want to take it out, but I'm going to insert a photo here. <laughs> How cute is that? That's not obviously on any of my horses or anything, but it is a slinky, a blue slinky, which will be for super. I got it for $25 and I'm so excited to use this. The reason I got this is because my trainer and I have been talking about me doing my first show. So excited. So, um... I wanted to get one of these so then when I eventually do the first show then I can like braid his mane the night before and put this on so he doesn't wreck it. So that's why I got that. Okay, I'm gonna say for the best for last. Oh my god, I forgot my best thing. Anyway, um, okay. So the next thing I got, we were gonna, I was just gonna get some normal like paddock boots. I wasn't gonna get anything fancy um, and my mum said she'd pay for them for me. But then I made the mistake on the very first boots that I tried on. <laughs> These ones I've been wanting for ages. Um, I tried on these boots. I don't have the box, I threw it out. I've worn them a few times, they kind of look gross. They are the Dublin Zip Paddock Boots. And oh my god, they look so gross at the moment. <laughs> I've worn them a few times. I've been wanting these for so long. But, um, I was actually going to get, I don't know, the ones I wanted were the Ariat Zip ones. They're like $300. But I tried these on and I was like, they fit perfectly because with the zip, like the zip, obviously, with the zip, it makes them, they fit you a lot better because they can be tighter because that's how you don't have to pull them on. And I tried these on first and they have like this padded area down the bottom, like you can see a cushion there. And I, every boot I tried on after this, just I couldn't, like, I had to get these. So I paid half of these and they were $180. So I am so in love with these. And of course with them, because I had brown boots, because I had brown boots before, I had to get new chaps. So I got a Saxon synthetic leather black chaps. So nothing really too special about them. They're really comfy. They've got the elastic at the back. And you know, I got them in size small. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But yeah, now for the most exciting thing. If you guys know me, I am super good at getting bargains with saddles, like amazing. <laughs> I have never paid over $200 for any of my saddles. Like the most I paid is $200 for a saddle. I'm not focused. I don't know how long I wasn't focused for, but you can just deal because I don't want to fix it and my camera is going to run out. I have been wanting a western saddle for ages, but I didn't want to get I, I didn't want to spend too much money on one. I'm not going to be like competing in a western saddle. I just wanted one to like, you know, do trails on and stuff like that. Just a more comfortable saddle and um, so yeah, I didn't want anything special and I was looking on the Facebook sites for ages and they were all like thousand, over a thousand dollars and I didn't really want to pay that much. So and then one day one came along five minutes away from me, <laughs> not even that, but and it was this saddle here. I'm gonna just put the video up right now of like videos up of the saddle because I'm not walking out to my tax shed to go show you it because it is raining. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. It is a Western um, saddle. I don't know the brand of it. The lady didn't know it either. I am in love with this. It's been used once or twice, she said, and it's just been sitting kind of there. No one's used it since. It didn't fit her, it was too small. So it ended up in my hands. <laughs> um, it was priced on there for $200. Um, I was like, oh, okay, is it okay if I, you know, pick it up and maybe take it and see if it fits my two horses? And she was like, oh, well, I'd like you to give me like a $150 deposit. And I was like, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So I went and I picked it up and I gave her the $150 deposit and I took it to the horses. I put it on Super and it fit really nicely and then I put it on Slinky and I tested it out and it fit Slinky as well. So it fit both of them, which I was super happy about because I was expecting it just to fit one. But it fits Slinky slightly better than Super, but you know, it still fit fine. And I know how to fit a saddle, it's all good guys. Don't need to stress. Um, but yeah, so I was super happy about that. I rode in it, it was so comfortable. 
I find Western Saddles the most comfortable saddle ever because of how deep the seat is. It's so comfortable. I am just like, oh my gosh. So yeah. Um, but yeah. So um, I messaged her and I was like, yeah, it fits the horses. Um, would I be able to drop off the extra um, $50 like later today? And she's like, oh no, that's fine. Don't worry. 150 is fine. So I got this saddle for $150. <laughs> the most, as I said, the most I've ever paid for a saddle is $200 and that's my stock saddle. Like, I, co I couldn't believe it because I've been literally wanting one of these for ages and guys, I bought all of this by myself, like I pay for all of this stuff, don't think I'm spoiled, trust me, I pay for it all myself and I was just like, $150 for this gorgeous western saddle, it has these gorgeous silver plates on the sides, um, oh, it's just, I love it and Oh, it looks so nice and super and it'll look even nicer and slinky. So, oh, I'm just ecstatic. <laughs> but yeah, so my camera didn't run out. Last thing I want to do is talk about this gorgeous girl. I made a video, my night routine, um, uh, about two weeks ago. And I said that if any of you guys wanted to buy something from Dress Gal, and the links are in the description on my other video that you could be featured in the video. So, um, this lovely girl, Rhiannon, sent, here she is right here, um, she sent me a photo of her wearing one of the tops she bought. She bought two shirts, and her Instagram is right here, so you should definitely go follow her on Instagram. She's a really nice girl, and she also has a YouTube channel. So her YouTube channel is on the screen right now, and it is in the description below if you wanted to, to uh, if you wanted to subscribe to her channel. So yeah, um, as you can see the shirt looks amazing on her and she is gorgeous and you should definitely go check out her channel. She's only new so it would really mean a lot to her and me if you guys go check out her channel and give her a little support. So if you guys want to be featured in a video as well, go check out my links on my dress gal night routine that I posted two weeks ago and you could be in one of my videos as well and I could give you a shout out on Instagram. I think it was a three day shout out I was saying. But yeah, so you should totes do that. Hello? Good thanks, how are you? It was good, thank you. Nope, I'm filming a video though. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna have to go because my camera's gonna run out and I really need to finish this video. Bye! So guys, let me just finish what I was saying. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry everything is a mess and I just look so great and I'm all like sweaty. Ugh, yum. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for my vlog. Bye! Just to please see the look happy road. Day turns to nine, nine turns to whatever we want. We're young enough to 